What is going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to set up the Hori Racing Wheel Overdrive for Xbox Series X and S on PC. So this is actually PC compatible as well, even though it doesn't say so on the front of the packaging. And this is because it's actually an Xbox licensed product. And that means it's owned by Microsoft, you know, Xbox owned by Microsoft, Windows is owned by Microsoft. So they make it usually compatible when they make Xbox licensed products. And it also goes under more rigorous quality checks. But if you're just curious to be sure that this is compatible with PC, even though I'm about to show you, it does say on the packaging here. So it goes Xbox Series XS, Xbox One, and then it's also compatible for Windows 11 and Windows 10. And it's made by a Japanese company called Hori. So here it is. It's plugged in to my computer right now. It's all set up and I will show you the first step you're going to want to do is clamp this bad boy to your desk. So it'll come in three pieces. You'll see the wheel right here. This is going to be one piece and then I'm going to move a little bit further down um, the clamp, this plastic clamp underneath. This will also be one piece and then there'll be a metal screw with this handle that's adjustable and you can twist it left or twist it right to tighten it or loosen it. So that's pretty much it. You just gotta put the wheel on the desk, put the clamp, bring it up to the wheel, put the metal screw through the clamp and screw it into the wheel. It's just held together by this one metal screw. That's it. So you just tighten it, you loosen it, and then it's clamped to the desk. It's pretty simple, easy to take down, easy to put up and good for the price point. So next you're gonna wanna plug the pedals into your wheel, but first the pedals will be in two pieces. So it's actually not gonna be this one big piece. You'll see that actually is attached down here. So that's how the pedals become one big piece. They get attached through that and then it gives you more of a platform and it no longer tips over when you press the brake or the, the gas even though I'm fumbling with the cord, this extra weight here makes it actually usable. So you definitely need this. I recommend putting this on. Anyways, you'll see a cord is coming from this, uh, these pedals, and you're gonna wanna plug this into the wheel because this is technically a part of this controller. So these are one controller together and they plug into the computer after. So plug this into the back of the wheel. So we'll see that goes right there. And then the wheel has its own cord, which is a USB cord, which goes into your computer. And this is long enough so I can actually wrap it around the back of my desk. And it's in my gaming computer right here in the back of it. And it looks like that if you want to see a USB port. But yeah, I have a bunch on the back. So anyways, it's plugged into my computer now. The paddles, as in the gas and the brake, are plugged into my wheel. You'll see that these two lights will light up along with the Xbox logo, but you're gonna wanna switch this to number two if it could focus. There we go. So if you switch it to one, you'll see my game is gonna be like, what just happened? Please reconnect the controller. That's because number one is Xbox mode. Number two is PC mode. So we swap it to number two and my game's gonna, well, this is gonna blink first and then my game's gonna figure out, hey, I got a wheel attached. And you know, now you're actually ready to use it if you want. That would be everything. Like you turn it to PC mode and you can actually start racing with it. So if I press back, you know, it has the same buttons as an Xbox controller would have. It has the shifters. You can adjust the controls or the button mappings in game. I'm playing Forza Motorsport right now. So like if I press pause and I go to like settings, for example, and then I go to like, If I go to whatever, it's not letting me, but if I go to controller settings, I can map these to different things. I can map these to gear shifters, etc. So you can now use it in your game, but if you wanna actually mess with more settings, something that this doesn't include in the manual on the box or anywhere is that there's an app for this on the Windows Store or on the Microsoft Store. It's called the Hori Racing app or the Hori Device Manager rather. And this allows you to actually change the dead zone settings, change the wheel sensitivity and change the pedal sensitivity. So if there's something you don't like with the dead zone or the wheel sensitivity, you can actually change it 
in the app in Windows. So let's take a look at that. So go to the Microsoft Store first. And now we can search at the top of the Microsoft Store, Hori app, H-O-R-I app. So we actually want the one with the picture of the controller here, even though this one looks like the one we want. This one has force feedback, so that has vibration and other things. This is a more expensive wheel and this is not for our wheel. Our overdrive wheel actually is part of this. And you know, Hori also makes some controllers so you can also add their controllers to this app too. That's why it looks like that. But anyways, you wanna click on this and you wanna click install. I've installed it so I can now just open it and it will detect your wheel and it'll ask you to create a profile for it or it'll just look like this where it's already created a profile for you. So you just want to click into this and now you can go to different things. So you can go to button mapping. You can actually change the button mapping from here instead of changing it from the game if you want. You can change the pedal mapping. You can change the wheel settings. So you can change your dead zone, as you can see. You can change your wheel sensitivity. Um, and you can also change your pedal settings. So you can also see if your things are working this way. This is a good way to test things out. So I definitely recommend getting this Hori Device Manager for Xbox Series X and Series S. For this wheel, if you have it and you're playing it on computer, this helps a ton. And I actually messed with some of these settings because I wanted less of a dead zone. So what is dead zone? It's basically how much you have to turn your wheel for it to detect that you're starting to turn it. So as you can see, I'm barely turning it and it's picking it up now. So that's because I've messed with my dead zone settings. So the dead zone is very small with this wheel and I can use it more and make small adjustments in the race for my car. So once you've made your setting changes here, you don't actually have to click save. You, they'll save automatically for the wheel. You can just close this or minimize this and keep playing the game. So like I can go back here, press back. And then I can just resume and now we're playing. So that's pretty much it. You know, the wheel is really easy to set up. And then there's also a, an app that they don't tell you about that you can actually change a lot of the settings for this wheel too. So great value for the price. And that's pretty much how you set it up on computer guys on PC on Windows 11 and Windows 10, because it'll be the same thing. You just plug in the USB basically, and then the app will be the same on the Microsoft store. So that is PC guys for the Hori Overdrive wheel. Drop any questions you got in the comments. Drop a like if you found this helpful. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.